Think about it. The most exciting play in baseball isn't the walk-off home run, the inside the parker, or the triple play. It's the unexpected moments that have no script and no ending. The blow-ups, ejections, meltdowns, fights. And I'll be honest with you, as someone who watches 50 to 100 games a year on the job, I'm kind of rooting for them to happen, and I know I'm not the only one. If you go to a handful of games in person each year, maybe you're a little more captured by the moment of being at the stadium. But once that's worn off and you've hit a stretch of ugly games or ugly weather or whatever, you're hoping that there's a bolt out of the blue to change things up. You usually know when something's brewing, if an umpire's been a little shaky with the zone or certain calls, if the teams are starting to play beanball and get rough with each other, or if you know that your manager is getting fed up, you can see that fuse lit. And kinda hoping it'll go off, then something will happen. More likely in the minors than the majors today because with video replay, there's fewer blown calls, so there's less to go out and argue about. The minors and independent leagues are still the Wild West, so let's take a look at an example that I saved. Here's the manager for the Southern Maryland Blue Crabs completely losing it. I'll play it straight through. Original commentary from WOYK. Singles to start this inning. Oh, somebody ejected. And it's the manager, John Harris, who is absolutely in the face of Nate Caldwell. Man, slams his coaching helmet down. And I think he was upset as he goes to home plate, kicks at the dirt. I think he was upset at the amount of time that the Revs were spending on that visit. And Nate Caldwell now puts his right hand up over his ear, leaning in toward Harris. Almost as if saying, shout louder. He is really in his face. He's about as mad as can be. Caldwell wipes some spit off his face. And John Harris is really, really incensed. He tries to kick it some more dirt, kicks his coaching helmet. Back over toward the third base dugout. He sure got his money's worth on that one. And I don't know if it was the length of time because the Revs were in the mid- Yeah, that was an A-plus meltdown. But if only there was some way of ranking all the ejections, some kind of stat you could put towards it. Which is why I've come up with the Baseball Ejection Scorecard, assigning point values to all the different potential plays and outcomes, ranging from one point for the basic motions, and climbing in value the redder and angrier the meltdown becomes, going all the way up to five points for the major fights, and ten points if it's a big one, a memorable ejection to be raised into the rafters of blow-up history. These are reserved for when the player or manager has completely lost his mind. Now let's take a look at how these scores will be applied through some of the incidents in minor league history. Okay, so I'm going to go back now and do a little enhanced commentary of that whole Southern Maryland and York ejection. Uh, sound on for the beginning, bleeps out just so you can hear what they say. Singles to start this inning. Oh, somebody ejected. Okay, yeah, so he was upset that York was apparently stalling on the mound to give their pitcher more time, which they probably were doing. And he comes out of the dugout hot, like just steaming, swearing. So the umpire's like, all right, if you're going to get the last 50 words here, I'm just going to give you the first one. And man, he is hot. Red in the face. We got the helmet spike, kicking dirt at home plate, just punching at the air. And I don't remember if this had been building. And oh, now we get the classic, rarely seen uh, in the modern era, umpire holding his hand up to his ear as if to say, I can't hear you. 
you know, rarely seen these days, but you know, sure to enrage the visiting manager. Just taunting him there, and he is giving it to him. Screaming, spitting. He's a rageaholic by this point. Still going at him. Just, you know, Ump is just standing there taking it. Statue. And it's a marathon session by this point. Still one-on-one. -on -one. Still going. Still going. I don't know what he could be yelling about by this point. There it is. There's the big one. As he loses control of his limbs and almost accidentally punches the other umpire when he spins around. Kicking, pointing, still. Now he's going to kick his helmet away. Man, he's mad. So totaling up the numbers, we've got a 42 ejection score from the manager of the Southern Maryland Blue Crabs. And now dialing back to the 2016 playoffs, where York manager Mark Mason has finally had enough of the umpiring and goes off. Original WOYK radio call. Now it's second and third and one out. And Mason's thrown his cap. Has he been ejected from this game? Yes, he has, and he's really letting him have it right now. Mark Mason has been ejected from this Revolution playoff game, and now two umpires are up in his face. And this game just keeps getting weirder and weirder, and Mason, he once called well. Two umpires trying to restrain Mason as he goes after the umpire. Now, Anahel Polaka, the third base coach, saying, uh, trying to pull Mason in back in himself, and he's got him by the wrist, and Mace is saying, let go of me, Polo, let go of me. Mark Mason, at the very least, he has riled up this crowd. Game three keeps getting weirder and weirder. First Frank Gailey, and now Mark Mason, ejected in this game from the sixth inning. Mason's still letting him have it. My goodness. And if you want a picture of the state of umpiring in the Atlantic League, well, we've got one. Jeff Dominguez will be the next man up for the Skeeters if Mason ever lets the umpires get back to this game. And Manny Corpus is going to take a couple of tosses to stay loose. Young is on third, Zawadzki on second. They both move up after the sacrifice bunt. Now Mark Mason, this is a marathon of a, an argument against the umpires in this game. And he's coming back out again. And the crowd loves it. Game three of the Freedom Division Championship Series has devolved into, I don't even know. All I can say is, if the Revs win this game, I do not want to be the umpires in game four when Mark Mason has to come out and give them the lineup card. Now Mason is making that stroll back to the clubhouse for the Rez, which is beyond right field. They'll have to open the gates for him, and he will still be shouting at this entire umpiring crew as he walks off. I've been the music operator at stadiums for a couple of years, and one of the things that people always bring up and ask me is, hey, have you ever been thrown out of a game? And have you ever seen the video of the music guy getting thrown out of the game? Uh, no and yes. I know that there's been a handful of sound guy and organ player ejections in baseball through the years, really just a couple, but I guess the most noteworthy one was in that A-ball game in Florida a couple years back. Get that! Up. Oh, Harper just got tossed. The guy played for the white line. Oh. Turn the sound off the rest of the night. Wow. Now, by the letter of the unwritten laws of baseball, this is worthy of an ejection. You can't insult or question the umpires. Just can't do it. He played three blind mice, which is a shot at the umps, kind of the prime example of what might set them off. That being said, there was no reason for the ump to make a show out of ejecting him. The guy might not have realized what he was doing, and all ejecting him does is give everyone their 15 minutes of fame.
So it'd be fun to get myself thrown out of a game, have the hump turn around and give me the heave, but the problem is I know better. So if I were to do something to get myself ejected, there's a good chance that I'd also be permanently ejected from my job, and I don't want that. Because it's kind of hard to do. If you know baseball and you know what you're doing behind the controls, you're never going to provoke them that much. And if you're really messing up, you know, playing something profane or too loud or going over top of the pitches, someone's going to come and correct you. Maybe the umpire turns around and gives you a glare, but probably before then, someone higher up the food chain in production is going to be like, uh, what are you doing? You're embarrassing us. Stop it. Uh, I guess the dream scenario would be to do an average job and have an umpire that's just really having a bad day and feels like being a tough guy. I've had it with that charge horn! Get that! But that doesn't really happen. So as long as I don't intentionally tank it, which I'm not planning on ever doing, I'll be safe.